had a brother send this article to me here. I'm not endorsing this thing here or whatever else. I have some issues with Glenn Beck, but he's the one that came up with this whole Blaze Media thing. Whatever. King James Bible pulled from multiple Utah school, schools due to vulgarity or violence after perdition called it sex ridden. It goes down through here. I'm not even going to bother reading the whole article, but it just these a bunch of Satanists are coming along and they're trying to go after the King James Bible because of the violence and the sexual stuff in it. Uh, yeah, it's written there to show that man is depraved and that man needs a savior. All the other pornographic stuff and the perverts that are going to the schools and everything else and trans, you know, drag queens and all this, they're going, they're not saying, hey, look, we're perverts, we're sinners, there's something that can be done. That stuff's okay. But the King James Bible that shows violence and bad things that happen throughout time to condemn man, oh, now we can't have that. Um, why would you put your child in public school? Why? I don't understand. I know a lot of you out there, you've defended it. I'm a Bible believer and I put my children in public school. You're wicked. You are wicked. I can tell you that. Well, they, they haven't banned it in our schools yet. This is just Utah. It's just Utah. It'll come to your school, too. What are you going to do then? Hmm? Make your excuses and things? Let's watch this video here quick. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kelly Chapman. And I'm Bob Evans. The King James Version of the Bible has been removed from multiple Davis District schools. Why just the King James Version? I'd like to ask. Don't the new versions also contain the same stuff? Slightly different wording? I mean, the Message Bible, they put in some really vulgar stuff in that that the King James Bible doesn't say. Why are they going after the King James Version? See, there's no more time for the, this sinful talk of God bless America. Brethren, we have to pray for the destruction of this wicked nation. War is what's needed in this country. It's, it's needed. It has to happen. The wrath of God has to fall upon this nation. Don't stand in his way. Don't say, oh God, please don't destroy Sodom and Gomorrah if we can find 50 righteous men. No, Sodom and Gomorrah needs to be destroyed. Well, I could get killed. Then you go to heaven. You know, duh. Let's continue. This after a committee found it contained both vulgarity and violence. Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold spoke. Vulgarity and violence. Why don't you ban Hollywood and all the different rock music and rap music and heavy metal and all the other stuff? Satanic nation. Don't you dare pray God bless America. Don't you dare say God bless America. Wicked people. Spoke with a Utah lawmaker tonight who sponsored a bill just last year prohibiting certain sensitive instructional materials inside public schools. The committee is going to be reading for a long time to read the Bible. They get to read it cover to cover. This is Michelle Edgley, the president of the Utah Educational Library Media Association, speaking with Fox 13 News back in March. I don't think that most parents have either the right or the knowledge of the student bodies to be banning books for the entire school. On Thursday, the Davis School District says a district review committee reviewed the King James Version of the Bible in its entirety. Well, they determined it didn't contain sense. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that they that read it in its entirety. Yeah, they didn't. Lost people. Just so wicked. But listen to what he says. Well, they determined it didn't contain sensitive material as defined by Utah Code. They still pulled it from elementary and junior high school library shelves. It didn't contain it according to the code, but we're still pulling it. Yeah. Wholly given over to Satan, these public schools. That's why there's no such thing as a public school. You're supposed to teach your own children. Well, we can't teach our own children. Then you shouldn't have had children. Back in March, a Utah parent petitioned to have it removed, saying the religious text is pornographic. We're the religious text is pornographic. A Utah parent. Yeah. I knew of a, a, a public school, or I guess it was somewhat of a private school or something, in um, Lincoln, which is right outside of Ephrata, Pennsylvania, a little kind of a suburb of Ephrata. Ephrata is not a real big city or anything, but and there was a Jew, Jewish woman, and she said that 
she found the Christmas program offensive because they were talking about Jesus. And she had it shut down. One parent. Oh, well, we have to constantly be inclusive. We have to constantly be tolerant and everything else because we have freedom of religion. Freedom of religion doesn't mean you get to destroy other people's faith. It doesn't mean you get to destroy the very uh, standards and codes and, and morals that this nation was founded upon. This nation was founded upon the King James Bible. And they, of course, they had to show a Mormon King James Bible, too. I don't know if you noticed that. You know, Utah there. Yeah. It's the whole thing is they keep doing this to ignite the right. That's what it's about. So it gets so bad and so noxious that we have no choice but to join with the Catholics and the Mormons and any other conservative Christian types. The day is going to come when these liberals are going to be rounded up and put in death camps by the alt right Catholic system. They will come to power. Divide and conquer works very well. Here we go. Let's continue. We're grateful that the uh, sensitive material review committee is is taking their job seriously. Utah State Representative Ken Ivory sponsored a bill that passed the legislature last year prohibiting sensitive materials in schools. When many groups characterize... How do you prohibit sensitive materials in schools? Why not teach about sensitive materials? This is banning books. That really is an attempt to simply, you know, hyperbolize what's going on. We're, we're simply um, clarifying age-appropriate limits. With that law in place, if a parent makes a formal request, schools have to remove any books that contain human genitals in a state of sexual stimulation or arousal, acts of human masturbation, or sexual intercourse. Their determination to limit the age appropriateness of the Bible should set a standard. A district spokesperson says the Bible is not taught as part of the curriculum. They estimate seven to eight elements. Of, of course it's not taught as part of the curriculum. That's why this nation is in such a wreck, such a state. Entry schools and junior high schools in the district had the Bible on library shelves. The Bible has always been best studied around the fireplace by the families where you know, no, it hasn't. Yeah, look at it. Republican, Republican here. No, it, it hasn't been. It was taught in schools. This nation had very high morals. Where was all the perversion in the past when the King James Bible was taught in the schools? You see, God, I pray the wrath of God falls upon this wicked nation, and soon, don't pray for the prosperity of America. Parents can give context to uh, the warnings and the uh, 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 teachings that are in the Bible. The decision has been appealed by an individual, the district says, who would like this version of the Bible retained at all levels. It will now go to an appeals committee consisting of three members of the Davis School District Board of Education. In Farmington, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah. So what more can I say? Um... Oh, we just feel that it's right to have our children in public school. Well, so whatever. Um, can't help you. Uh, whatever. Um, just, brethren, more and more things are coming out that you just, you can't pray for God to bless this nation. Don't fall into the, the sin of Abraham of being a coward and coming out and being worldly and saying, Oh, God, please don't let our nation fall. Please, I want America to be around here for... America needs to be destroyed. I'm so sick and tired of learning things that this country has done in wars of aggression and all kinds of things, just destroying uh, infrastructure of other countries, destroying the environment in other lands, killing our own soldiers with nuclear waste that we use as ammunition. I mean, there's so many things, all the abortion, all the pornography, all the Hollywood stuff, just the filth that this nation has spread across the world and you pray to keep it continuing it must stop and christians everywhere need to stop praying for god's blessing on this nation please don't say god bless america